Okay, that smells amazing. It smells like, mmm, it smells like a dessert, like vanilla ice cream. Mmm, mmm, I just wanna. hair. Ooh, I really like this. This is really, really good. I love the smell. Smell may be, dare I say, my favorite smell. I don't know. It's it's just a whole good mixture of blends. I don't really smell any mango. What else I said? Cocoa? I do smell the cocoa. That's maybe the vanilla I'm smelling. And I do smell like a hint of pepper. I mean peppermint. Mmm smells so good. Okay, now that my hair is pretty much detangled for the most part, I'm going to detangle. Actually, wash this off real quick. Gotta make sure you wash off your brushes to clean them. You don't want to be detangling your hair with a dirty brush right after you just shampooed it, you know? It feels, and it's probably not the best way to shampoo, but I'm just doing a quick cleanse, okay? Keep it in quick. Okay, 
Yeah, my hair feels instantly better. It feels really nice.
see it feels nice, looks good. So next, I'm using only two products to lock in the moisture. I'm not really gonna be styling my curls. I've been doing that for the past couple of videos, so of course I'm gonna switch it up. I was like, you know what, why not? I actually try to use just a leave-in conditioner and an oil today, both of which I haven't used in a while, at least that combination. So I am going to be using this leave-in conditioner that was recommended to me as well. It's, I think it's Eden or Eden leave-in conditioner. It's a coconut. Apply to freshly shampooed hair for best results. Do not rinse, use as daily. Okay. Okay, it smells exactly like coconut. There we go. All right, so it feels pretty. It feels kind of oily. Let's just apply it. Wait, hold on. Put a little bit more and then I'll top it off with some oil. Add a little bit of water. Yeah, I doubt my curls are gonna be um, defined, but my hair is definitely gonna be super moisturized. So I have some olive oil, organic olive oil. By the way, thank you to everyone who commented and let me know that olive oil that you use to cook and olive oil for your hair is the same, pretty much the same. That was super helpful, which made sense. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to make sure also with oils, I never really know how much to actually put on my hair. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, I'm wearing a shirt that I actually really like. And now I don't know how to feel because I'm going to have oil on my hair. Let's see. Hold on. All right, just in case. So yeah, like do you saturate your hair with some oil or do you just put a little bit in at a time? Like, I don't know. This is how it looks. my hair because my hair dries quickly when I don't have products on it and I like to make sure when I'm applying product my hair is damp preferably really wet my hair or in fact I have low porosity wow not bad that's literally what I <laughs> I really need to get some more catchphrases like I say that, okay, you know what? It's really not that big of a deal, but <laughs> this is me overthinking out loud, okay? Um, but it actually looks really good. Just to have a leave-in conditioner and an oil in my hair, my hair looks pretty darn, pretty darn moisturized. Okay, I'm gonna do this side and then I'll see you when I'm finished again, as always. I'm back. Hopefully the oil does not leak into my hair. Could that happen? I mean, I wanted to keep the towel on, but um, I'm about to leave, so oh, it's already wet. I may have to change shirts anyway. Okay, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, I will be back after my hair has fully dried which shouldn't take that long because I have a workout class to do today and I'll be going outside and I'll be out and about. So it did rain today earlier. So I'm hoping that the condensation and the heat and the mixture of all that grossness does not affect my hair, but you know, we'll see. And then also the fact that I'm gonna be working out and stuff.
or am I gonna try to like flip it? Let me see. I use first of all thank you so much for everyone who recommended me their favorite products I've actually really been enjoying trying new products I honestly can say that I no longer judge all the product junkies I'm just kidding I never judge you guys but I can understand someone who's a product junkie because it's fun it's really fun and I still think that most products do kind of the same thing similar things I mean, you do have your good and your bad products, but I don't feel like there's much of a spectrum when it comes to products. It's like, either it's really good, it's good, it's so-so, it's bad, or it's terrible. But I think the experience of using different products, like the smell and the texture, and just playing around with different products to see what combinations are good together, is fun. And I really do like the smell too. But yeah, so I am enjoying this. Um, I really love the Oh So Clean Moisturizing and Softening Shampoo. This smells really, really good. I am a sucker for smell. I would rate this shampoo maybe seven, eight. I mean, it's good for a shampoo, but I don't know if a shampoo is going to make me like I don't know. I don't know about moisturizing and softening. I mean, my hair was soft afterwards. I wouldn't just shampoo my hair and go. Obviously, you shouldn't do that with any shampoo. But I do, it's very um, quality. And I can see that it has some like oils. It does say it has shea butter and olive oil and stuff like that. So I love the ingredients in this. I feel good with it using it on my hair. I don't think it really stripped my hair and moisture terribly. But once again, I feel like you could use any shampoo because you're gonna condition your hair. But you care about what products you put into it. These are a lot of natural and good products in it. Lots of oils, which is good. And you don't want something that's going to super dry out your hair. So it's a harder process for you to condition it and detangle it afterwards. So if you want something that's going to prep your hair and make your hair easier for the conditioning and also have it smelling good and also it feels nice and luxurious, it's thick. It's just a good texture. It reminds me of... One of the ones I've used in the past, uh, my go-to one that had the same color, it kind of reminds me of that, but like a higher quality of that. Now, I've never tried any Camille Rose products. <sighs> I have to say, let me smell it again. I'm going to fall in love just with the smell. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells so, <sighs> it smells so good. Like, I just want to eat it. I don't know this is up there and then the experience of using it I just felt like I was at a spa I just felt good using it I have to say this is by far now and even I don't know I, I only used it once maybe the smell just sold me overall and the texture is just good I just love how it, ha how it has peppermint oil in it and I just love that and then I love how you read the ingredients, it says all the ingredients is used, and then it says in love. Like, I feel that. So, I'm going to say this is my favorite by far, besides the Natural Club Deep Conditioner. And this is actually very, I know, I can't say. I do enjoy the experience of using this more, but I more than the Natural Club one, because the Natural Club one is a little messy. I just feel like this is like a more smoother, less messy but I do still like how the Natural Club Deep Conditioner makes my hair look and feel afterwards because it lasts longer as far as to like you could really tell your, your hair was super deep conditioned. But this comes really close. So I have to say this is my new favorite deep conditioner so far from all the ones I've tried. Um, Natural Club and this one's up there. This one I would rate like a 9. 9.5 the reason why i won't say it's a 10 because the lasting effect of how moisturized it kept my hair even after the shower even though it did but not compared to the natural club one i still like that tgin but i would have to say this one beats that one in my opinion also i have to say 
Our hair is different, so whenever I give my favorites or my opinions, I'm not bashing or saying one is better than the other. It just is better. It works better on my hair, but I do understand somebody may try the TGIN one and the chamomile, I mean the Camille Rose one, who maybe has a different hair texture or hair type or whatever, and, and the TGIN may work way better, and that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm just telling you guys my experience just in case you want to try it and see what works for your hair and then lastly i tried this uh eden or edin body works leave-in conditioner i love it it's just pretty much coconut oil i feel like that's what a lot well it has some other oils in it in there but i did like this leave-in conditioner do i like this better than i'm trying to compare it to the leave-in conditioners i've used um i still really like the melanin leave-in conditioner because i think just like any product that includes like peppermint oil or lavender oil those type of essential oils i just feel like it just upgrades the experience a lot more and it just feels more spa like and real ha ah, like refreshing and nice but um this was just like pretty much coconut the smells coconut it was it yeah coconut shea so coconut and shea butter now it says it's made with natural ingredients so i always appreciate that so i definitely will be using this again i would have to say Hmm, I really did like how, I mean, you guys see how my hair looks right now. It feels pretty nice. I mean, it's not like overly moisturized like it was on my actual wash day, which was a couple of days ago. This is actually the third day. I'll say this is like an eight for the leave-in conditioner. I really do like it. I would definitely use it again. I'm interested to see how this is going to work with different products, how it will mix in. But so far, I'm very, very satisfied with all the products that I use for my wash day. Um, I will definitely be using all of them again. I did like adding oil to my hair. I actually still have this oil sitting out. I wonder if it's like okay to still use in my hair. Because for the times that I only just use leave-in and oil, if I want to refresh it, I'll probably put a little oil in my hands and, you know, refresh it a little bit. I want to do this again. I maybe will have this like a once every month type of series thing where I try you guys' favorite wash day products and um, that'll be fun because you know it's fun to see if I like the things that you like and once again if I don't like it that doesn't mean that it's not good or whatever once we have to take in consideration that maybe we still have the same hair type but maybe our porosity is different and maybe texture just different stuff so I love the volume the volume is great some parts are frizzy but that's normal because I don't have a gel or I didn't have anything to like sculpt my curls or or define my curls I just used a leave-in conditioner which gives me you know moisture extra moisture uh to keep my hair somewhat moisturized after deep conditioning in and all that stuff like that because you know you rinse that out but the, the leave-in conditioner is a leave-in conditioner so it kind of tops it off <laughs> and then the oil if you watch until the end just comment your favorite product or products that you would like me to try in the next me trying your favorite wash day products <laughs> and maybe i would choose yours for the next wash day i will see you later